How would I know what procedure would be best for me? Okay, another great question. What we have to determine is where we want your smile to be and look like when we're finished. So again, we begin with the end in mind. If a person comes in and their teeth are small or have spaces, we're not going to reduce their teeth, we're going to add to them. So many times we don't drill at all. We just add porcelain to the faces or edges or sides to make them longer or wider or more prominent. If somebody comes in and they have overlapping teeth or prominent teeth, they stick out too much, you can't add anything to that. It would just make it worse. You actually have to bring them back. You bring them back with Invisalign orthodontics or with uh, re tooth reduction uh, using a full prep veneer. Sometimes if we determine somebody's um, teeth are a millimeter and a half too thick, you reduce a millimeter and a half and then you add just a couple of tenths of uh, porcelain to the face of it. So each person is different depending on where we want to end up. Okay. And many times we have combination treatments. We'll do Invisalign first, then thin veneer. We'll do um, th uh, thin veneers on several teeth, but one tooth is very prominent or crooked, and we have to do a full veneer on that. So again, it's not one solution for everybody. Everything's customized. That's the best way. Okay. Mm -hmm.